when we are clicking on it something is wrong the bag is not coming and the reason is ladies and gentlemen after months of anticipation i finally present to you drum roll me ta da so this is how i look like guys don't be disappointed yeah i know it's not as exciting as it should be i don't have a proper background just just ignore my background okay ignore it and just focus on my tutorial so in our last video we learned how to design a counter element using local variables and in this video also we will learn the same thing but an extension of it we will learn any guesses yeah drop down menus which we already learned once in our channel but that was for non paid users and this one is for paid users because we will also be using set variables uh which needs a paid account so let me clear it first this is not for beginners this are for advanced users who are starting to learn advanced prototyping for the beginners and non paid users you can also learn the same thing but without local variables and you will get that video in my channel itself i'll give the link below okay so without any further ado let's get into it so these are the components that we will be needing first is our buttons then we have our item list then again the drop down menus and finally playground so let me show you how it works okay so this is what happens when we click on it a drop down opens up and we can select we can go through each of them each of them will be highlighted as we hover over it and then when we see, click on an item it gets displayed okay and the menu closes so it it happens for all the items so this is what we will be learning in this tutorial so the very first thing that we should start with is local variables click on this item and you can see that i have i already have some variables already defined uh so let me just what should i do make a new collection definitely create collection okay so i'll just explain everything to you first what we need let's see this one we need a button with one default color and one hover state color so for that let's create a color okay color let's say default white make another one another color color uh hover okay and change it to something light okay so we have our color variable next what we want we want the name of the items so now let's use string since we will be using text so for string uh, let's say item underscore one this will be my item one let's say bag okay item two another string so in this manner no matter how many items you need just accessories just write them add them one after the other so if you have 10 items then add 10 names but it's definitely time it's definitely time consuming but lesser than using non paid version and the last one let's say cloth okay so we have our three items and i'll select them and group them new group with selection and call them items okay now we have color items what else we want another one let's go to string and write a uh, select item okay this is the text that should be over here okay select item or choose item i'm i'm keeping the same name for it so you will understand why we are writing it this thing will be mentioned over here in the drop down option 
after which people will click on it and the other option list will be shown okay so this is something like that okay let's add it in a separate group and write it as select selection or whatever wait a second it's not supposed to be grouped inside items it's a separate group okay color selection and items did i name it correctly here i named it option and here i said selection it's okay it's up to you how you want to name it now what we're gonna do we will create a button but instead of creating a button because i know you all know how to create a button or drop down option huh, i'll just take take an instance out of it and detach it just to show you how to do it from scratch okay not from scratch exactly but here we have it now this was the previous one i just want to delete everything so this is how it looks with a button and uh auto layout added okay you know how to add all the paddings and all you can watch my previous videos for that i've added these paddings okay spaces and all so in in feel we will choose our color so this is collection one forget about collection one we are not focusing on it because it was previously created by me now focus on col uh, collection two okay let's add this color white make a duplicate of it and add uh go to fill and add this purple from here okay now we have two buttons one for hover and one for default and then you know how to add create component set okay let's change the name to state default yes and state this should be hover okay next we need to make the item list for that what i'll do i'll take out an instance by pressing alt and then click on this text box and go to text and this i uh, this icon over here apply variable from here from collection 2 i can see i have item 1 if i click on item 1 that name will be added if you want to change it you can simply go to local variables and change the name from here itself if i change it to something else like shoes that will be reflected over here okay so let's keep it as bag then make a duplicate of it make another duplicate of it we have three items so next again click on do not forget to click on the text okay not uh, this this one here because we are adding the variant variable sorry variable to the text layer layer so again apply item 2 for this one item 3 okay now add them inside auto layout add a fill okay let's change the corners to 20 radius okay fine now what else now we need a button like this it's not a button exactly a placeholder then you can i'm, I'm simply dragging it out you can make your own detach instance don't have to detach anything i use choose item text and this icon over here and put them inside an auto layout and added a fill rounded corners that's how you do it okay now what we'll do take another copy of it change the icon make it upward okay just like this and what else we will do select select this frame okay let me just rename it to items copy this frame by pressing ctrl c and then select listen carefully select this button okay i mean this frame itself and press ctrl v okay now you can see in this layer panel this item layer uh, this item frame has been added inside the buttons okay so let's let's rename it as uh, what what did i rename this one open and close okay for the button one let me just rename it as open because the drop down is open or expanded and for this one let's call it close okay now let's see what happens uh, inside open we have our item list it's placed inside it so we'll just uh, click on this absolute position and 
try to slowly move it down. If you want, you can use your keyboard arrows for it because if you use your mouse too much, then it might go outside this open frame. We do not want that. So I'll just keep it just under this item list. If you want, you can add a shadow if you want to adjust it however you want it to. Now we have a close drop down and an open drop down. Select both of them and create component set. Okay. Now that we are done with the basics, let's start with the most interesting part that is prototype. So this part is going to be a bit tricky. So make sure you watch it carefully. Pause it if you want to and rewatch it. First of all, we will start with the basic, basic animation that is add simple interaction between the close and open options. I mean open menus. So on click, change to open that is this one and sorry that is this one this is open and same for the close one on click uh, change to close okay this was a simple trick now comes the tricky one that is when a person will click on bag add an interaction from here on click set variable this is the new part what we want when a person clicks on bag we want choose item this one to change to bag okay we want bag to be displayed over here so for that first select we will select from collection too because that what we were working with so from here i'll select select item another thing i forgot to do that is change this to select item uh okay let me just complete it then we'll come to that okay uh, change it to item one item one bag okay and again add another section that is change to when we want this bag to be displayed over here we also want it to change to the close option so change to close this is the close one we want it to change to close now let's see how it works but before that what i want to do is change this choose item to okay let me just show you how what happens this is going to be my playground uh i'll take an instance of this hmm? okay let's let's play it oops let's play this one so what happens when we are clicking on it it's working fine but when we are clicking on back nothing's happening it's closing but nothing's happening and the reason is we didn't add variable to choose item so this is a mistake which you should avoid don't be like me <laughs> because i made a mistake you shouldn't do it okay always uh, add variable to each and every layer okay here choose item it shouldn't be choose item it should be select item so add this variable over here same for this one we didn't add variable oh my god how can i forget okay now let's see what happens play see it changed it was it was select item before let me refresh yeah so it was select item before and when we click on bag it becomes bag but the others will not work because i didn't add uh the very the prototype over there so let's do it click on accessories click on the text layer then go to prototype okay so again let's do it let's reset if it's not reset okay now let's do it accessories will add an interaction on click on click set variable select item set it to 
item 2 and also we want it to change back to close now for the third one you do it and i'll see you can also guide me click on interaction first click on text layer then interaction then on click set variable select item change to item 3 we also want it to change to close okay now let's see accessories bag another thing that i another thing that i would like to share is see one thing we have to click on the text layer if we click here nothing's happening but generally when people click on any part of this button it should work right so for that what we can do nothing just change it to fill container see the text layer uh, become big change it to fill container change this to fill container now let's see see doesn't matter where we click it's working because the text layer now is taking up the whole space let's change the color and then try it okay it's working so that's it for today guys if you really found this video helpful then do not forget to like comment and share and subscribe to my channel for more such figma tutorials and see you in the next one till then bye, -bye.